Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're joined by Masked Wolf to figure out which astronaut in the ocean is best. How do I do it? Hey, I'm not let <laughs> down, though. Leave it like this. Okay. Yo, <laughs> thanks to Play to Win for having me. Uh, let me play Magic the Gathering with them. If you wanted to find me, you can see me on Instagram at Masked Wolf, uh, YouTube Masked Wolf. And what I've got in the works is I'm currently making my album, so stay tuned for that. This video is brought to you in part by Dragon Shield. Use code play to win 5 at the affiliate link down below for 5% off to help support the show. And make sure to check us out on Patreon to help support us directly and get extra perks. So we have Cam on Malcolm Francisco. Ooh, that's fun to say. I'm playing Rockside Turbo Nas. Wolf is playing Benevolent Suppression Combo Beats Elevere. And Nate's on Pantlaza. Begin. Begin. Cam, take us away. All right, I'll get a draw. Play Dark Sick Shores and cast a Soul Ring and pass the turn. Draw card. Bloodstained Mire. Frog Rack. Unfortunately, it's just going to be that. Pass turn. Draw for turn. Marsh Flats, and I'm going to crack it going to 39. I'm going to get a Savannah. I'm going to play Soul Ring. Null Rod. Whoa. Oh, no. I have a response to Null Rod. Force of Negation that. Pitching a Cyclonic Rift, I think. Forcing resource. That's fine. Sure. Artifacts sure. are the only thing that's going to keep me into this game. <laughs> Ship a turn on that. Should I say something about this? Should I say how Agatha Soul Cauldron and Walking Ballista are both artifacts? I need them in order to win the game. And I just played this Soul Ring, so this Null Rod's kind of screwing me. I kind of got to get rid of it, even though I don't love using Force Negation here. All right. Spectator seating. I will cast Esper Sentinel. Pass turn. Get a draw. I will play a City of Brass. I'm going to float a colorless, and I'm going to cast a Phantasmal Image. Each to be yep. as a copy of Esper Sentinel. I'm gonna pass the turn. Draw card. I love playing Null Rod into Rob Sly. That's <laughs> why I was so excited for it. <laughs> yeah, and I should have just went to four, I'm pretty sure. Correct, Bloodstained Mire. 39. I'm gonna find this Badlands. Calling the weak, sacrificing Rograk. Two Esper Na Sentinel triggers. Yep. You got him. Make four black. I will cast a Wishclaw Talisman. I'll use that other two black to recast Rograk. That's it, pass turn. This hand would have been a lot cooler if I hit the second land drop. I had two turns to hit it and I didn't hit it. Uh, so be it, you know? On top, a draw for turn. Ancient tomb, ship a turn. Tap up draw, replace Savannah, cast Mox Diamond. May Playing I draw? one for Esper Sentinel. Discarding Scully Tarn, cast Delighted Halfling. And I'll pass turn. Good of mine. I'll get a draw. I'll play a Flooded Strand. Malcolm. Erg. Pass turn. In your end step, one generic floating containment priest. I'm then going to exile Elvish Spirit God. And with the one floating, I'm going to channel Wishclaw. Woof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got nothing on that. Ooh. It is certainly destroyed. I'll find Underground Sea. Go to me. Untap, upkeep, draw card. Right of Flame for two red. Triggers. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Cast Time Twister. I'm cool with that. Crack Flooded Strand in response. Don't Go down do to 39. Anything. Don't do anything. Get this underground C. My priority, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Wolf, you pass again? Oh, yeah, I'm passing on yep. just to fill. I'm going to red elements blast it. Oh, yeah. May I draw a card? Yes. I have nothing for that. The draw. Really want Rock Sly out of the game. <laughs> pass my turn. I'll draw for turn. I'm going to play a land for turn here. Rule of law. May we draw? I'm going to pay for both, taking two damage. 37. Ship thy turn. What's that? Let's get draw. Uh, I'm going to cast Runic Armor Sword. Pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Good to combat. I don't think it's Dylan, honestly. <laughs> it's definitely Dylan is the threat. 100%. <laughs> <No. boy. laughs> I have three cards in my Nate, I'm going to come at you with this Malcolm. 38. Make a treasure. I'll play the City of Traitors as my land. Dolphy Voidwalker. Yep. I will pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw card. Play City of Traitors. Cast Silas, floating one. Is that okay? All good. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. Untap. I was deeply considering Force of Willing it, though. <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> Pathway, the white one, Ranger Captain. Get the ATB in. I'll get a Sarah Ascendant. And unfortunately, I cannot play it because of my own card, but that's fine. I will ship the turn. Untap. I'll keep, I will draw. I will also cast Ranger Captain. Jesus, Louisums. You guys think this is a good card or what? I like it. I'm going to go search for a one drop. I'm going to go get Esper Sentinel. You already have you that. Know, I know, I know, no, 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 just kidding. That was a joke. Okay. Just <laughs> I was like, is this guy cheating with two in his deck? <laughs> I'm going to get Ragavan. I'll pass. Get a draw. I will overpay a little bit for Francisco, Foul Marauder. I think we're going to swing Malcolm at Wolf now that mm. his life total has a reason to be lowered. 
That's all good. I'm on 35. Did I miss something? Why Why am I? Why did I attack Wolf? The Sarah Ascendant. The Sarah Ascendant cares about his life total. That's they put it in his hand from the Ranger Captain. That's the reason that you wanted to attack him. It's a lot better reason than just Ancient Tomb. <laughs> Another treasure, and then I get a Francisco Explore, a Chrome Mox. I'll bin the Chrome Mox, and we'll put a plus one, plus one counter on this Francisco here. Can't cast any more spells. I will pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw card. Pass the turn. Oh, draw. Sarah's Ascendant. Wobulus. Ship the turn. Untap. Okay. Draw a roll. Drag it Pass her. Untap. Draw card. Cast the Sensei's top, leaving a colorless floating. I'll use the colorless to take a peek at my top three. Yeah, we'll put them back in this order here. Move the combat. Let's swing Malcolm over at Nate and then Francisco at Dylan. I'll take one and go to 38. Took two. I'm at 36. I'll make two treasures and I'll get two explorers. Explore number one is Takanuma. I will put that into my hand. Explore number two is Mana Vault, which I will bin. Put a plus one, plus one counter on Francisco. Takanuma as land for turn, and I will pass the turn. Draw card. Rule of loss. Stink. Stink, stink, stink. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> pass turn. I'm to walk. I have to sacrifice City of Traders to uh, Takanuma coming into play. Sorry, everybody. Cost collector roof. In response, mm -hmm. crack treasure, activate Sensei's top. Ooh, interesting, terrible. Put them back in this order. Yeah, I mean, I'll say it once, I'll say it again. I can't let that happen. Sure. I'll pay one, two, <laughs> blue, blue, and I will mind break trap that. Uh, hard casting it. Oh, this, yes. hold on, hard this is hysterical. Yes. I get to respond here, because I actually, for once, am not bothered by that collector roof, and Cameron is, so I'm going to red elemental blast to mind break trap. Probably regret Ooh, it later. Nice. Phantasmal image, a S percent no trigger. I'll pay for it. I have two. I have one off you, Cameron and Dylan. I'll pay for them both with the City of Traders. I will pay for yours with a treasure. Yeah, cool. So this gets countered. Collect roof resolves. I'll go to combat and I'll swing Sarah Ascendant at you, Cameron. I will take six. I'm to 33. I'll go to 41. I'll ship the turn. Untap, upkeep, I'll draw. I'm gonna cast Survival if it is. Uh, S percent no trigger. Yeah, you may not draw. I think I should swan song this. Lose a life. Am I a draw card? You may not draw a card. Gets countered under Dossie. I get a bird. I'm going to pass turn. I will draw for turn. I will move to combat. Malcolm down at Wolf. And we'll swing Francisco over at Dylan. Yeah, I'll take it. 39. I'll make two more treasures. I don't do anything. I get two explorers. We're binning Tezzeret the Seeker. And we are binning Jeweled Lotus. Put two more plus one plus one counters on Francisco. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw card. Tap this for two. The City of Traders. I'll play Gemstone Caverns. Sacrifice to the City of Traders. Goes to the Dothy Zone. With that two and this two, I'll cast the One Ring. May I draw a card? We both have draws. You both may. You both may draw a card. I'll gain protection yeah, from good. everything. And then mm -hmm. activate it right now. Put a counter on. Draw card. That's it for me. Pass my turn. Obviously, there is a collect roof right now, which I forgot about. Drawing the one ring for the turn got me all excited and I had to cast it. Doesn't super matter. I'm going to remember it in a little bit anyway, and I don't really use the card. So we're just going to continue. Untap. Draw. Elevate. Take two. 37. She gets a token that ETBs and goes on another creature, which will go under Sarah Ascendant. This is considered an enchantment as well. So she will now be an 8-8. Eight, eight. I'll then go to combat and an 8-8. Eight, eight. Dylan, do you think we should be at all worried about Nate in a way? I would be a little bit worried about Nate. He's down on mana, but the Ranger Captain is a little bit fearful, and plus the S% no. Cameron's got more going on. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna I go. don't have like real card advantage going on, especially now that my whole wind condition is shut off. Right, this is going to come at you, Cam. All right, and I'm going to deadly rollick it. S percent on trigger? Pay for it. Mm. I can't uh, keep taking it. Did ton I activate of the one like ring this. when there was a collect roof out? Jesus you Christ. Did. Oh, you did. Oh, uh, I didn't think about Fucking that. Fucking cheater. I put it back. I apologize. I'm a dirty, rotten cheater. I'm so sorry. That resolves, my oh. dude. Yep. It'll be exiled, not to Dolphy, though. Ship the turn in sadness. Keep draw. Play a land for turn. And we're going to cast Bronze Beak. S for Sentinel. Sacrifices because it's a phantasmal image. Silas and the oof. Go to combat. Are you sure you want to do oof? Are you sure? No, We're also no. pretty stopped yes. by two Ranger Captain Aviosis in play too. And a rule of law. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go to combat. Two at Cameron. Yeah, that makes... That makes a ton of sense. I'll take two. Down to 30. Get a treasure. Exile a mana drain. Cool. Pass turn. All right. Get a draw. Your artifacts are back on just so you know. 
Oh, whoa. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. <laughs> whoa. Yeah. I was trying uh, to say, I should've, guys. Uh, yeah, I should have I should have remembered that. That would have been helpful news. Okay. Sensei's top activation. Put him back like this. I'll crack the top. Draw a card. Bull is the citadel. I'm gonna tap this ring in response to you draw a card and put a counter on it. For real this time. But I knew what the card is and I'm not gonna respond. I'm gonna pass because rule of law is still out. So I wanna see what he does with that. I will play Spire of Industry as my land. Go to combat. Malcolm over at Wolf. That'll uh, make me a treasure and get me an explore. So I'm on 35. Do I even want this top? Nah, because normally it's good with the sit, but I feel like it's really bad with the sit right now. So I'm gonna explore this top away. I feel, I'm gonna come to regret that. I'm gonna, <laughs> that's gonna feel I, really bad. That is it. I will, I can't cast any other spells, so I will pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, lose one from the ring. Go to 35. Drop card. Activate the one ring right now. Why not? Put another counter on it and draw two cards. And here's a command tower as my land for turn. I'm going to cast Necropotence. Uh, Esper Sentinel trigger. I'll pay for yeah. Nate's Esper Sentinel trigger. Let's pay 10 life with Necro. I'll go to 25. Exile 10. Mm -hmm. Go to my end step. Put it in my hand. And I'll keep seven. Exiling Phyrexian Tower, Paradise Mantle, Gemstone Mine, Volcanic Island, Pyroblast, Cabal Ritual, Final Fortune, and a Marsh Flats. And are they all under Dothy? No, they're exile. Ah, uh, wait a minute. It's Dothy is a replacement, exile. so it never goes to the graveyard? It would never go to the graveyard. Instead, they all get exile. You get them. Pyroblast, Final Fortune, Cabal Ritual are relevant. Go ahead. I've been pretty out of this game for a while, or at least that's how it looks based on my board state. But I think it's also important to remember that this is a storm deck, and I can kind of win out of nowhere. So getting this Necropotence and the One Ring in play is pretty good for me. The fact that my life total is dwindling and there's a lot of big creatures on board is not so good for me, but I'm not completely out of this. <laughs> Untap draw. Root Mace? You only have Rog Sire? I have Rog Sire. Rack, the One Ring, and Necropotence out. For creatures, just Rog Rack. Silas is gone. So I'm going to swing Containment Priest and Elevir at you. And the, when she goes to attack, she creates a Virtuous Roll token, so that'll go on Containment Priest. Sure, I'm not going to do any blocking. What's the total damage? Nine. Pick nine. And I will draw a card because a creature with a token has done combat damage. And I will ship the turn on that. Untap, upkeep, I'll draw. Tiger, I'm gonna go to combat. Dylan, I'm coming at you. So it's a three, four, two, five, and a two, one. I think I still need my commander. I'm not gonna block. I'll take seven and go to nine. Ragavan trigger. Exile Mox Diamond. Also, when you make your treasure, it comes in top. Yeah, that's thank true. You. <laughs> I'm very scared of Cam. I'm very scared. Yeah, yeah. I don't um, go to my second. I have page. a lot that's against me right now. Still, these two Ranger Captains are not appetizing. Second man, I'm gonna cast Sunstone Curio and pass yeah. turn. I'll draw for turn. I'll play Misty Land Forest as my land. Thanks to Bullis of Citadel. Comes into play tap though. Move to combat. <laughs> Malcolm over at Dylan and Francisco over at Wolf. So I'll go to 30. I'll take two and go to seven. Two treasures and two explorers. First explorer is a Verdant Catacombs to hand. Second explorer is a Walking Ballista to Graveyard. Those mm. two treasures come intact. Thank you. Okay, so I have these two treasures here, and then I'll have two tap treasures. I'll cast a Demonic Tutor. May I draw a card? No. I will pay for that with this Spire of Industry. Good with me. I pass the turn after that. Untap, lose two life from the ring, and go to five. Cast a Dockside Extortionist. I think I should have activated the One Ring before I cast Dockside here. If I found something that could bounce the Root Maze, and perhaps I could have my Dockside Treasures come in untapped. Maybe I could do something like a Final Fortune or Born Upon a Win on somebody else's turn with all this extra treasure that I would have untapped. But I don't really have the option to look for that since I don't activate the One Ring. So I probably just should have done that first. It also sucks because both Final Fortune and Born Upon the Wind will immediately get shut off by one of these two Ranger Captains, too. That's also why it's kind of hard to make a correct decision this day because, like, I just feel dead a thousand different ways. Like, I have to get through so much shit. So that's 15. Very okay. happy Root Mace is out. That fucking rule of law. All right, so that's it. I passed my turn. Probably dead. On to Wild Growth. Wait, is the Collector of back? No, no, no. Sorry. It's uh... okay. All right. Phew. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to swing LV and Containment Priest at you. When that happens, another token will come in, but that will go. Let's just say it's going under Ranger. I'm going to cast Deadly Rock on your commander. You have an Esper Trigger, sir. Yeah, it's Manager Walker. I'll pay. Blocking Containment Priest after I exiled your commander. Stay at five. Dockside is yeah. also under Dothy. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I will ship the turn. Untap. I think I'm still dead. Yeah, I think so. I probably. 
I'm coming you with four creatures. I'm gonna activate the one ring. Draw two. Yeah, I'm dead. Before you die, I think I'm gonna crack Gothi Voidwalker to cast your deadly relic targeting Nate's Ranger Captain. I get to draw a card off Runa Karma Sword. Yes, you'll get a deck card. Yes. You also get an Esper trigger off. Yep, Esper trigger. I'll pay for the Esper trigger. I'm going to reprieve deadly relic. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Right? Respect to my hand. <laughs> yep, I have to draw one. I do get a treasure though, a tap treasure. Damage and I die. I think I'm just gonna go to my turn. Draw for turn. I'll play Snowcover Island as my land. I'll crack this Misty Rainforest. Go down to 29, Island. These two lands should come in tapped because of the root maze. They don't. I'm gonna cast Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Uh-oh. Can't win this turn. Comes into play tapped. I'm gonna not tap okay. like an idiot though. I'm gonna tap my soul ring for it. Do I draw a card? No, you may not draw a card. I will pass the turn. Draw for turn. Play soulless jailer. Wait, is there any? Way, you, do you have any way to get rid of my dinosaur? Because he wouldn't be able to activate the soul conjure then. Mm, definitely not. That's what I was saying. <laughs> I knew, I knew you were gonna say that because you were like, Nate, don't do this. <laughs> yeah. Sure enough. That's what I was saying. Collective. <laughs> no, we're we're trying to we're, tell you. We're fine. Okay, it's all right. Fine. Great. Yeah, okay. Ship the turn. On your end step, though, I'll pay three life going down to 26 to cast this member targeting Nate's Ranger Captain. I will pay for Esper Sentinel. I'm going to Veil of Storm. That's I'm really good. good. That's a really good spell to have. Yep. Go to your turn. You're all good. I'll have to worry about Nate, and then I've got to definitely worry yeah. about camera. <laughs> yeah, Nate spent a lot of resources to protect this Ranger Captain of his. I spent one resource. I like when you think I like I'm doing something for like a good reason i'm like oh no i was just trying to draw a card <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna play scythe claw raptor Ooh, gross disgusting yes cloudstone trigger returning yep. my bronze beak by hand bring her back doesn't happen oh increase we went through it so is it cam's turn yep in your end step what if i do an endurance targeting his graveyard. I would cast Force of Will, pitching a Phyrexian Metamorph in response. I go down to 25. Um, may I draw a card? You may not draw a card, no. All good for me. Go to my turn then. Untap, upkeep, draw. Activate Agatha Soul Cauldron, targeting Walking Ballista? You get a counter from activating Agatha too, right? I think? Yeah. Oh, I do. Yes, I will get yeah, it. So it'll go to six. I'll remove a counter from Francisco targeting Nate's face, activating its walking ballista ability thanks to Agatha Soul Cauldron. When it deals you a damage, I get to make a treasure and explore, revealing Vampiric Tutor on the top of my library. Keep there thanks to Explore, letting me keep the card on top of my library if I like, and putting mm -hmm. a counter back on Francisco. Doesn't Runic Armor throw a trigger from this in the walking ballista activation? Yes. Yeah, I get to draw a card. In response, oh, I will. Oh, sorry. I take four life. Yeah, you both take four life. When you force a will. To... Okay. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Yes, because just... this is a new turn. Yes. In response to your runic armasaur trigger, I will do it again, though. Go down until there's one counter left on Francisco so that you would take five damage before you draw any cards. So I'll be at 31 before I can draw any cards. Cool. May I draw a card? You may draw a card. I haven't cast any spells this time. And this is, by the way, like five more tap treasures that I have over here. I technically have five draws, four draws under. Those four draws, I'm going to say you're never going to get. They, I might, though, so. We'll remember them, but they're going to be like the last ones that you get. Do you want to say that every time you draw a card, you take a life and we go until you have a point of action? Sure. Cool. All right. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm at si sixteen right now. Seventeen, eighteen. All right. 13. 31 That's minus 18 is, yeah, 13, I think. Right. You can go a bit more. Go another three for the boys. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Come on. All right, I'm going to source the plowshare at your Francisco, and I'll lose four. There's no point in me um, sacking Ranger here, right, Dylan? No. So. Chain of Vapor targeting rule of law. Now I think we could, if you're going to sack it. I'll sack mine. In response, I'm going to exile Elvish Spirit Guide and besage you the... Agatha's Cauldron. Cool. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. All right, this line is fucked. Rule of all goes. Would you like to copy the Chain of Vapor? I'm going to yeah. do that, and I think... Oh, do you pay the one for the Chain no, of Vapor? Yes, I will okay. pay. Bolus Citadel. Oh, yeah, everything has just gone from, like, terrible to worse over here. Yeah. Bolus of Citadel is bounced. Let's end the chain there. I can't cast any more non-creature spells. Swords Resolves. That lets me gain a life to 22. Recast Francisco. 
pass the turn. So if anyone's been wondering why I've been so down on Agatha's Soul Cauldron in the podcast, this is the game that solidified why I don't think this is the best of combos to be going into here. There's just so many different things that can happen, and maybe I shouldn't have gone for it while this Runic Armistor was in play, but Runic Armistor has never done anything in a CEDH game. Why would I assume it was going to be involved here somehow? I mean, to be fair, you did turn Nate's Runic Armistor into a Necropotence. You just said, pay as much life as you want, draw as many cards as you want until you're dead. And he's like, okay, sure, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe the um, the use application of how you tried to go for this win, maybe that maybe that was the not good for it. That probably is true. Yes. I need the best top draw ever. Let's see it. Let's see Bam. it. Oh, very bad, very bad. I'm gonna play a planes for two. Oh, hey, um, did you get those extra four draws that I told you you wanted, oh. to Nate? Now, yeah, now I do. Okay, Good. yeah. Alistair Shepard. Damage. Uncountable. Elevia. Put it under Solus Jailer. And then I'm gonna go to attack. I might have to just swing both at Cam. Sorry, bro. I'm gonna swing both of these at you. One's gonna be a 4-8 and a 6-8. Guess what? <laughs> Double chump. My commanders are dead. Those things are huge. Elevia gets those things massive. Your turn to win, mate. Your turn okay, to win. I'm hoping. I'm gonna sack my Captain Ranger. Oh God. Limdul's Vault, lose four life. I'm gonna cast Silence. Cool, no response to Silence. Pile one, I hate. Pile two is disgusting. Pile three is acceptable, so I lose two life. The five cards I'll put on top like this, but not before shuffling everything into my library. Show us the win. Nate, I expect a clean and smooth win from you. Okay, I'm gonna disappoint you. <laughs> I guarantee you. Command tower for my land for turn. I'm gonna cast Chromox. Exiling. Gamble. To cast Heliod. I forgot about the root maze. I'm gonna tap that instead. And this is tapped. Sack of treasure. Oh, that won't do it. Listen, bud. You said you wanted a clean <laughs> win. You're the reason yep. I don't have a clean win. You have Blister? Your mana short, though? Yeah, I am short mana. All right. Ah, shit. I'm gonna raise a beak. So get rid of the root maze. Get rid of one of your treasures, Cam. Your active treasures. I'm gonna um, crack it in response <laughs> for a blue. He pays three mana here for the razor beak. We're gonna say that he did this uh, before he played his command tower and then played the command tower afterwards so that the command tower comes in untapped. That's what we're gonna say. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Go to combat. I'm gonna attack Cameron. Everything's at you. Then I'm down to four. You exile the top and I get, I get <laughs> well, a treasure. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> we can see it, Cameron. Go That's ahead. That's a Zorical. <laughs> exile Swimming Spirit Guide for a Redhead. Casting Manable. Casting Ballista. X equals two. Activate Heliod. I'm going to ping Cameron for four life. I'm dead. Isn't this just an infinite thing? Or? Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm going for camera first. That's what I'm saying. And now I'm going to come for you. <laughs> one by one. Ping, 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 ping. Done deal. GG. Nice. Nice. Good game. Nice win, Nate. Wasn't clean, like Will said. <laughs> Might not have been the cleanest win, but Nate got it done. Great job, Nate, using those stacks pieces to your advantage. Even though it wasn't my walking ballista combo, at least the walking ballista combo still won the game. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like our $100 patrons. Mark Cirillo, Alan Button Lowercase, Zachary Nelson, she doesn't even go here. SoCal Acura, Stormageddon, Luke Cook, AJ Albosabi, Demon of Rosgrees, Uncle Butts, Kawaja A. Hamid, Lauren Connell, and Baby G Bus. If you'd like to pick up any of our merch, you can do that at playtowinmtg.com. Big thank you to Dragon Shield for sponsoring the show. Make sure you use our affiliate link down below and use code PLAYTOWIN5 to get 5% off your order there as well. Follow us on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for more content. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Should we talk about our $50 patrons? Zachary Colson. Alex Muscleman. Tyler H. X Tyler the Tree X. Milecraft. Driving Crooner. Jabaha. Dalton Potit. Mitchell Shepard. Justin. Man Solo. Pedro. Jacob Depp. Michael Ballou. Jan Wildfang. Thomas Bueno. David Nelson. Chain wins games, even though it wasn't even in this game. I should let plays finish before I say A good words. rule of thumb is wait until the turn's order, because I'm not going to put in our dialogue until the end of the turn anyway. I have never picked up on that. We've been doing this for three years, and I've never picked up on that. <laughs>